When you are explaining the mechanism of ventilation, you need to make reference to the muscles, the diaphragm and the intercostal muscles, and whether they relax or contract. Consequently, you need to describe the changes in both volume and pressure, which will lead to a relative air movement. So whether they relax or contract, the muscles that is, will either increase or decrease the volume in the lungs, increase or decrease the pressure relative to the outside atmosphere. And this will either result in the air moving into or out of the lungs. So beginning to explain inspiration. Here we have the diaphragm and it's represented at the moment in a contracted state. And this is very important because people get this confused, um, but the flat diaphragm is when the diaphragm is contracted. Here I'm representing the ribs and the intercostal muscles between the ribs. Please be aware that there are external and internal intercostal muscles. In inspiration, the external intercostal muscles are going to contract, and these are going to move the ribs up and out. Moving the ribs up and out is going to result in an increase in volume in the lungs and this will reduce the pressure in the lungs relative to the outside atmosphere. The difference in pressure from high to low means that the air will move into the lungs uh, resulting in inspiration. So now if we look at expiration or air moving out of the lungs, first you have a curved diaphragm here that means it is relaxed. Then we're going to have the external intercostal muscles, only this time they are also relaxed and these two things combined mean the rib cage is going to fall. It also means that the volume inside the rib cage will be reduced, so the pressure inside will be higher relative to the outside and air will move out. Now it is also possible to force this process of expiration by contracting the abdominal muscles, which is going to push the diaphragm up. You can also contract the internal intercostal muscles, pulling the ribs down, and both of these things are going to decrease the volume, increase the pressure as shown in the diagram, and force the air out.